In this segment, you will learn where to place strainers, how to install inline strainers and tension indicator springs. You will learn how to apply tension to a wire and repeat the process for all of the wires of your fence. You'll learn the proper technique for safely tensioning wire, how to accurately measure wire tension, and the proper use of multi-groove poly spacers to prevent fence wire separation. You are now ready to install inline strainers and tension indicator springs unless you are using self-regulating strainers, and then apply tension to the wire. Generally, you need one inline strainer for every 4,000 feet of wire. Locate strainers in the middle of each fence span where the pull in both directions will be equal. A fence span is the area between corner or end posts. Every friction point, corner, dip, and rise reduces the strainer's tension capacity by 500 feet. After you have determined the inline strainer location, cut the fence wire at that point. Place three 12.5 inch gauge crimping sleeves on the wire and preform the wire. Place the wire through the hole in the inline strainer strap. Bend the wire back onto itself, allowing the crimping sleeves to slip into place. Crimp the three sleeves to permanently attach the strainer to the wire. Place the other end of the wire through the hole in the strainer reel. Tension the wire with a strainer handle. The compression clip on the inline strainer eliminates the need to put your fingers near the bail when applying tension which can be very dangerous. On the second wire from the top, install a strainer and tension indicator spring to measure wire tension on the fence. If you are not using self-regulating inline strainers, the spring features full-strength tug links with marks to accurately measure wire tension. To install, pull out one tug link and thread it through the hole in the inline strainer strap. Next, reinstall the tug link back into the spring coil and attach to fence wire using two crimping sleeves. Now tension the wire. As you pull the wire using the strainer handle, the tension indicator spring will compress. The first notch indicates 150 pounds of tension. When the second notch appears, you've reached the final desired tension of 250 pounds. Now, apply the same tension to all other fence wires. You'll be able to see and feel when all the wire is properly tensioned based upon the first wire installed with the spring or self-regulating strainer, so you will not need a tension spring on the other strands of fence. The next step is to install the multi-groove poly spacers that prevent fence wire separation. Place poly spacers about 10 feet apart between fence line posts. Spacers help maintain wire spacing, allowing line posts to be placed further apart. Use a Class 3 galvanized wire clip to attach spacers directly to the fence wire. A wire twisting tool simplifies the clip installation.